Today we're going to talk about Focus Fire. I think everyone knows how it works, but not sure how to execute it. When you're in a match, especially in solo queue, everyone is an expert, right? Everyone knows what to do. But everyone has something different to say. Part of the reason is no designated shot caller. A reliable shot caller. Be sure to check out my shot caller video where I talk about who should be shot caller and what they should be doing. Focus fire can be a very organic thing that unfolds during a match and even in the middle of a fight. Some of these tips will be obvious while others will not be. So let's get started. Now, the shot caller does designate a general kind of focus. Let's talk about that for a moment. The default focus fire order is to target the healers first, then move on to the DPS, then tanks. Now this is more of a template than a strict rule set. Because during a match, unpredictable things happen and your team has to adapt each time, second to second. So who to focus fire can change for different reasons. For example, an enemy that is using an ultimate suddenly changes the priority of targets to the one doing the ulting and the healers are now put on the back line of priorities. Now that's obvious because it's easy for a team to understand that the one doing the ultimate should be taken down first. But what about when no ultimates are going off? Well typically if no ultimates are going off then you focus the healers. But what if the healers are well protected and they're positioned in a way that you have to go around to flank them? You could do that. But I know for a fact that pro players will use their healers as bait to get that Genji or Tracer to flank around and try to get that easy pick on a healer. Then once they come in, the whole team surrounds that flanker and picks them off. And then they rush your team since now they have man advantage. So what do you do then? Well, this is the more organic part of the fight I mentioned. That focus fire can shift in the middle of a fight, second to second, and you have to adapt. Now ideally you want to back off and regroup, but say your team is already committed to the fight. So you gotta make the best of it and hopefully take one of theirs out before you lose another man and then you're 4v6. So I've compiled a kind of checklist to figure out who to focus fire and if you're actually doing it. Again, the shot caller typically calls out who to focus fire, but they may have missed something more important that another teammate calls out and that should be addressed. For example, low health targets. If you are poking into the enemy team, eventually someone is going to feel the end of that damage and become low. That should be called out and immediately focus fired here. DPS like Genji and Tracer are great for finishing low targets because of their mobility while McCree and Farah are great for their burst damage and getting the enemy low on health in the first place. What if there are two targets that are low? Well that's simple. Is one of the low targets a healer? If yes, then finish off the healer. Not usually Lucio though. He doesn't outheal most damage the way Mercy and Ana can. They can bring back someone to full health so fast and just negate any damage you did. So again, focus any low health targets. Next is focus any stragglers. This goes for any flankers and anyone breaking off of the group. Like the enemy Reinhardt who just charged into your whole team. If even just a few of the DPS go after that straggler then it could be an easy pick and gives you immediate man advantage. Tracer is an exception because she has the mobility to completely escape most things you throw at her and you don't want to spend a lot of time chasing her around the map because at that point she is in fact winning by getting your whole team to focus her for too long. The best thing to do is just try and pick her off, and if she gets away, then just let her go. If you're able to constantly chase her away quickly, then she isn't doing much for her team and it'll take even longer for her to get her ultimate. Winston is great for chasing her away constantly and not being able to let her get close to the healers. This leads into my next tip, which is to avoid 1v1 situations. I can bet that you've been in a situation where you say, found a healer all by themselves, like a Lucio, and you go for him. You're shooting and shooting and he's so close to death that you end up chasing him all around the map just to try and finish him off. And by that time, someone comes in and helps him out and takes you out. Then everyone gets healed, so essentially you just gave the enemy ultimate charge. How frustrating is that? I've been there myself. Well, the first wrong thing you did was engage in a 1v1. Now, let me be clear, because I'm not saying to never go 1v1. Just follow the three second rule. You are allowed a maximum of three seconds to take your target out if you don't take them out within that time limit, then let them go and regroup with your team. Good Genjis know this rule very well. So why follow this rule? Well, for one, the situation I just explained to you about chasing them around the map and leaving your team. Second reason is that your team needs your DPS. So engaging in so many 1v1s in a match is a clear sign that you are not focus firing. Playing as a DPS hero, your damage is crucial for focus firing. So don't be selfish and engage in a bunch of 1v1s that last more than 3 seconds. Either ask for help immediately or let them go and return to your group. The last tip is to focus the all-star. 
Some teams are carried by one really good player. So if you notice that the Reaper is on fire, and has been throughout the whole match, and no one else is on fire, then he should become the focus. Especially if he's on fire and he didn't even use his ultimate yet. How can you expect to get to their healers if there's an all-star Reaper shredding anyone who comes in trying to do just that? So you need to tell your team to shift their focus to the all-star that has been on fire the whole match. So quick recap to help with your team's focus fire is to focus low health targets, focus stragglers, avoid 1v1s that last more than 3 seconds, and take out any all-stars. This list is to go hand in hand with the default focus fire checklist of going for the healers, then the DPS, then the tanks. This list is very organic and simple and allows for structure in a chaotic fight, whereas the default list of going for healers first isn't very flexible and doesn't adapt to an evolving fight. They both have strengths and weaknesses that support each other. So what do you think? Did this help at all? Did I miss anything you think should have been mentioned? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. Thank you.